Hello students, in this video we'll see an example of evaluating an infinite product. So infinite products are expressions of the form the product n goes from 1 to infinity of a n. And when we're doing infinite products, we want to assume that a n is not equal to 0 for all n. Because if one of them was 0, the product would be 0. That's trivial. And furthermore, a necessary condition for this product to converge, it's necessary that the a n terms in our, ser in our product over here converge to the point 1, because you want it to stabilize to converge. They have to get closer and closer and closer to 1, because you want to be multiplied by 1, 1, 1, 1, 1. Likewise, in infinite series, the terms have to get closer to 0, so you're adding up things that are getting smaller and smaller and smaller. Over here, I want to be multiplying by things that are getting closer and closer and closer to 1. So let's see an example of one particular way that we can evaluate an infinite product through an example. So here's the example we'll do. Let's find 2 to the 1 3rd power times 4 to the 1 9th power times 8 to the 1 over 27 power. And we can sort of start to see the pattern that's emerging over here. What's the pattern that's emerging? The terms in this product look like what? Look like 2 to the n. Those are the powers of 2. And then what's going to happen over here? So I have 1 over 3, 1 over 9. Those are the powers of 3 raised to the 1 over 3 to the n. So if we were to write this product out in product form, this would be the product, n goes from 1 to infinity, of 2 to the n raised to the 1 over 3 to the n. And so what we can observe over here is we can note the following. What we have is I can write 4 is 2 squared, so we can rewrite this. Two to the one third times two squared, so that's going to be a two to the what? To the two ninths times two to the three over twenty seven times two to the four over eighty one, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And now the base of these things are all two, so this would be equal to two to the one third plus two ninths plus three over. 27, and so on, and so on, and so on. So now I have to evaluate this infinite series, and we'll find out what the exact exponent is going to be. So what do we have over here? So the term over here, let's call that exponent over here, let's call that a. So what is a? a is 1 third plus 2 ninths plus 3 over 27, et cetera, is the sum. n goes from uh, 1 to infinity of, uh, on top here, I'm going to have an n over 3 to the power n. So that's the series we have to evaluate over here. And so we can write this in the following way. We can write this as the sum n goes from 1 to infinity of n times 1 third to the n. And so now let me recall something from our geometric series configuration. So from our geometric series, we know that if I look at the sum, n goes from 0 to infinity of x to the n. As long as x is less than 1 in absolute value, this will converge to 1 over 1 minus x. So what I'd like to do now is I'd like to take this equation over here. This is the same thing as 1 minus x to the negative 1. And what I'll do now is I'll take the derivative of this expression. So if I differentiate this expression, what will we get? If I take the derivative with respect to x, we'll get what? We'll get the sum. n goes from 0 to infinity of n times x to the n minus 1. And that will be equal to the derivative of this expression over here, which is going to be a 1 minus x to the negative 2. The, the negatives will cancel by the chain rule. And so now, of course, we can note that this series over here, if n is equal to 0, we get nothing. So we can really start this when n is equal to 1. So I can really replace this with n equals 1. And I'll take this negative x over here, this x to the negative 1, and throw it on the other side. So the, what we have from this is we have the following formula, that the sum n goes from 1 to infinity of n times x to the n 
is equal to what? Is equal to x over 1 minus x quantity squared. And so now we're in a position to uh, use this formula over here with x equals 1 third. So with x equals 1 third, what do we see? We see that this series over here will sum to 1 third over 1 minus 1 third is 2 thirds. 2 thirds squared. So this will be 1 third over 4 ninths. We can flip this 1 third times 9 over 4, right? So the 9 and the 3 will cancel to get a 3. So this is going to be 3 quarters over here. So I have 3 quarters. And so a is 3 quarters. So our final answer, this infinite product, is going to evaluate to 2 to the 3 quarters power. And that is an example of evaluating an infinite series by one of many sort of ad hoc tricks to do this. In further videos, we'll see other tricks to evaluate infinite products. Thank you very much.